Tonight, emergency responders are hoping to raise awareness about a program that could help families of children and adults with autism and other cognitive disorders. This comes just days after the tragic death of eight-year-old Shalom Lawson in Brownsburg. Police say he was autistic and drawn to water. He was found dead in a retention pond over the weekend. 24 Hour News 8's V. Wynn joins us now with more on how the program works. V. Yeah, I'm Brooke and Dave. Parents and caregivers attended this meeting tonight to learn more about Project Lifesaver in Hendricks County. The program provides tracking equipment for families with children and adults who may have a tendency to wander off due to autism, Down syndrome, and dementia. The Project Lifesaver is just one more tool to kind of give the family that peace of mind. Karen Hendershot stood before a group of about 12 people tonight talking about Project Lifesaver and demonstrating how the device works. A client would wear as a transmitter on their wrist or their ankle, and it can be worn 24 7, even in the water. Hendershot is the coordinator of the program in Hendricks County. In the event that they were to go missing, the caregiver would call 911, and the first responders have receivers that they can tune to that unique frequency of that transmitter that the client is wearing. Hendershot says within a one mile radius emergency responders can pick up the signal. Yes, it can lead us right to the direct location of where that they are, but we don't have the coordinates and things. What we're listening for is a chirping sound. Diane Zernheld attended the meeting. Her husband is 64 years old and was diagnosed with a progressive form of dementia. I'm very worried about him getting lost. He's gotten lost several times. We've always, always been able to locate him, but with the Project Lifesaver, I, it would be such a burden off my mind to know that we could locate him quickly. Others like Shauna Lipscomb says her three-year-old son is autistic. I'm so fearful that something like this could happen to my little boy. He is, um, a, he is starting to wonder already. She started a campaign hoping to work with lawmakers and people in the community to make the device available to parents at the time of diagnosis. What can we do as a community to not only just aware people of this, but get this device in the hands of parents who have children who are autistic? Now we learned the device has a 100% chance of success. The tracking equipment is free if you live in Hendricks County. For more information about the program and how to enroll, just go to our website, bushtv.com. V. Wynn, 24 Hour News 8.